you know, we all watch these online channels and we see these youngsters and these older guys just absolutely shredding the neck like beyond human comprehension. Now, I want to teach you the mechanics because you know by now I am not a shredder and I never will be in my time. But you want to be one. I'm going to show you the mechanics. Firstly, a triad, you know, is three notes and three notes make up a chord. A major chord is one, three, five. The intervals, one, three, five of the major scale. A minor chord is one flat, three, five. But you know that. I'm now going to play you G major. I'm going to play D major, F minor, and then C um, major. And I'm going to recycle it and explain the phrasing of the sequence. Now, disclaimer, I'm not a shredder. If I haven't said that, I'm saying it again. But if you do this at speed and you use your metronome to get the spacing of the notes equal, you're going to sound like a superstar when you turn that game really up. But this is how it goes. Here's a G on the 17th fret D string. Now, I knew that because uh, I knew you know that a G on the 15th fret on the E string. Okay. And then you know that that's a major third interval. And if you don't, I'm telling you now, and you know that that's a, a, f a perfect fifth interval. And you know that that's a minor third interval. Well, if you don't, I'm now showing you. But this is going to teach you fret. The fretboard is going to teach you intervals. And it's going to teach you triads. In other words, how to play chords as arpeggios. Okay, here we go. G major. Nice and slowly. Okay, so G, B, D. Octave of G. To D to B G. Now I'll show you the sequencing. Then I'm D major. Then F minor. C major. And that's it. That's that sequence. Now, when you do that to speed with gain distortion and you've got your timing perfect, it's going to sound awesome. But as a disclaimer, I'm not a shredder, but if you learn it and you do it enough, you're going to see what I mean. It's going to sound really good for your metal progression. Hopefully you can hear where it could go to. That's quite slow, but if you do it fast and you do it smoothly, it's going to sound awesome. But I've shown you the mechanics. Major chord, root, major third, perfect fifth, octave. G major. D major. started playing this yesterday so i'm not good at it okay now remember i showed you a couple of weeks ago i showed you on my channel i've got all these things up on arpeggios octaves and how to play arpeggios on one string really go check it out in the stretchy style legs like for example this is e minor and i also explained to you that you leave two gaps depress a finger you've got your minor third interval if you want your major third interval you leave three spaces then you've got e to a flat and a B, a perfect fifth of E major scale, one, three, five. That's E major, E minor. That's just on one string. Now I'll do some string skipping, E minor. You got it? E, B, G, to E, E minor, E, G, the minor third, and B, the perfect fifth of the E major scale. You got E minor. Now, I saw a, a young fellow on um, on um, YouTube, and someone made a comment said, "You are the best shredder I've ever seen in 12 years on the social media." And he started his sequence like that. Mm -hmm. 
More gain and distortion, much more accuracy. <laughs> but I'm trying to show you what he's doing. So he's moving from E minor. Then he's moving the root to an F sharp, which makes it maybe E minor 9, if you care. And then he's going to the G, which is the minor third of a tenth, or E10 you could call it. And she's changing key, I think, because it's a G, it's a C, an E, and an F sharp. So you can have fun. But you can go figure it out because you know the mechanics now to work the intervals out. So there we're playing over several strings. Okay, I'm joking around now. Now, I also showed you in one of my previous lessons, E minor played on one string here the, on the D string. Okay, so what am I doing? C minor in its third inversion, because C, E flat, G is C minor, right? That's the triad. But I'm starting on G, which is the third note. Therefore, I'm playing the third inversion of C minor triad. G, E flat, and C. C, E, G. That's C minor in all its glory on one string. And the third inversion I'm going to reverse. G, E flat, C. Or I'll go backwards and forwards. Because that's what you guys like to do. Here's A flat major. Because there's three spaces depressed, two spaces depressed. A flat major. Think of Elie van Halen. You now know he's playing C sharp minor. Two gaps, three gaps. Then he's playing C sharp minor, minor interval with an augmented fifth. Then he's moving it to E flat minor. The fourth suspended fourth those are chords now you understand what's happening Take it where you want to take it now. What you do with these things, you work it out really slowly. You know the intervals, you get to know the notes on the fretboard. And I promise you, you will be doing things that you never dreamt of a lot faster. Or you can just learn on pitches, so you're C major. That's like an A chord there, but I'm playing it up here at the 17th fret. There's my C root on the 5th, that's a root 5 chord. C to E, which is a major third of the C major scale. So when you go, well, you're playing in C and the band's just jamming in C, and the bass guitarist is hammering that C note. You just played C7, C major 7, because B is the major 7th of the C major scale. Okay, and there's that.
in the D shape at the 12th fret, like your open cowboy chord D, that's actually C major. Because in 12 frets or half steps, you can play a triad four times. You know, you've got C, C, Four, four ways of playing a C chord, okay? So that, get back to the C. There's my G, the perfect fifth. There's my uh, major third, the E note. That's a C major chord. There's a D. Root, major third, perfect fifth. My root, major third, perfect fifth, and I'm combining that to a five note arpeggio, a five string arpeggio, three notes, C minor. Make sense? G, E flat, C. This is sinking in for you because okay so I'm not playing anything specific but it's giving you ability because one day you're just gonna go now it was nothing but it's notes of a minor pentatonic three notes per string pentatonic with a little bit of going outside adding some flat or sharp notes to make it sound a bit more wonky you can also do it like this a minor pentatonic but then alternate watch this per string sorry Suddenly, you're playing outside just by. So, you practice it a while if you want to play like that. Maybe you want to sound like it, and you know my favorite, of course, the series of diminished with alternating string starting points. Fourth fret, and then fifth fret. Like this. You knew what I meant, eh? note is a minor third or in other words you skip two frets between each note if you did it on one string because you know a guitar might have six strings but you've got to see it if you could take just this one string and, and let it go to infinity every 12 half steps or every 12 semitones you would come back to the same pitch but an octave higher but you know that and it'll just go on forever to your point where your human ear won't, wouldn't hear it. But I've shown you a few tricks and I hope it helps your shredding. You will know what to do with it, I am convinced. I've shown you quite a few concepts here and it will it will definitely solidify your in, your information gain into your brain about the the notes on the fretboard it will give your hand it will open your hand up like a fan you'll be able to do these wider stretches you'll be able to play arpeggios 
See the guy at the back of the classroom, he likes that one, he likes the C major one. Or the E. That's major E. And then major seventh, dominant seventh, okay, you know you've got your octave so you can, you can play around but you know what notes you're targeting because just Use use that stuff inside there. That, that's I'm not trying to show off how bad I am, but I'm I'm trying to give you information. I want you to start thinking differently. Like you you didn't think of playing C minor like that or C major like that either, or A major like this. A major and B major, and then. Maybe you used to just play like that. Maybe you enjoyed playing like that. I did when I was 16. I hadn't had a clue what I was doing. Tell you late on a Friday night, my friend's father, whose band it was that I played in, he'd give me a little tot of brandy, to be honest. Because <laughs> he said to his son, give this to Mike, because he plays better when he has one of those. <laughs> There's a bit of my teenage secrets. Because I let go of it in ambition i let go i was mentally just opening up and my little 15 watt fender princeton was souped up with a capacitor put in it it was burning really hot the, the whole garage lit up purple because of my amp and i was just and i never heard of alan Holdsworth, <laughs> but i uh, i knew about richie blackmore and uh, <laughs> jimmy page those days anyway because I, you know, if Richie Blackmore played a highway star, I had no clue what he was doing, you know, about the arpeggios that he's actually playing. And I was just listening to the sounds because I played by ear. But I've given you information now to use to actually know what you're doing. And if you do it often enough, you will get better at it. So just in 10 minutes now, you can maybe see marginal improvement on what I'm trying to show you. I don't play like this, because I told you right up front, I'm not a super shredder. But I would like to help you, because I know you want to be one. That's why you're watching this. Also, you want to have fretboard freedom. That's why you are watching this. You will get fretboard freedom. Now, check my channel out if you haven't yet, because there are hundreds literally hundreds of jams and you will in coming weeks and months see me jamming with a few friends all on the wrong side of 60 very much so well over the national speed limit i think you will enjoy what these few older fellows can do the drummer's a youngster though <laughs> so don't put him in my category but uh, the rest of us are getting on but um it's opened my universe knowing what I'm doing. Well, as I say, I don't play like this, but I just wanted to show you the mechanics. I can't stress it enough, okay? That's why you're watching my channel, because I'm, I'm giving you information. You know, I'm a professional who works in information in my career, you know, that spans several decades, two continents. I know what I'm doing there. It's, I process information for, for my clients if you know what I mean. This is processing information for my, for my soul, for my passion, music, the soul, the voice of angels, whatever you want to know it is. I'm giving you the information in small pieces so that you can absorb it and actually know what you're doing. Now, our 20 minutes is up now, so I'm going to leave you in peace and, and 
and hope to see you post your videos and tag me in on them. Thank you for watching.